It was a celebration of lives saved in Cherry Hill tonight. For the third time since 2015, Safe Streets Cherry Hill has gone 365 days without a homicide. WMER 2 News' Eddie Kadem talked to the men and women who made it possible the last time they had this celebration, and he was there today as they marked the milestone again. If you ask any of the members of the Cherry Hill Post how they made this possible, they'll tell you it's because they're from this area of this city and they care about it, and because of that, they're able to reach the people who would be pulling those triggers. Stop shoot! Stop shoot! Stop shoot! Stop shoot! Easy is hard work commitment every day coming out here extra days going above and beyond to make it happen as of this recording 162 people have been killed in baltimore city and none of them were in cherry hill this year in the past 365 days they've mediated 409 conflicts 71 percent of them had a high risk of violence probably involves someone who was either carrying a gun because they're known to carry guns or who actually had a gun on site that's what that means. That means that they stopped over 200 potential shooters. They don't take a day or a night off. They get to conflicts quick before they become deadly. We don't have guns, we don't have tasers, we don't have bulletproof vests. Only thing we got to stand on, we can walk out outdoors out. It's our faith and our decision making. We work off of relationship. We have so many relationships. We can stop so much because of the relationship. Many of these men and women come from a background of wrongdoing themselves. They've turned their lives around to make a difference in their neighborhoods. I've been to prison. So when I come and talk to the young guys in the neighborhood, they're willing to listen. Once upon a time, it would be false credibility. But now I take the negative, which once was a negative, and I use it for a positive. All types of resources that we can have obstacles so they don't go that way, you know. The bottom line is prison and death. What do we want? Safe streets. When do we want it? Now. Hoping for another 365 days without a murder and to not only reduce shootings, but eliminate them completely. That's very painful that somebody, you know, lose their child and someone lose their life. So yes, it's very gratifying that we went another year without a homicide. The Cherry Hill Safe Streets location is one of 10 across the city. If you want to learn more about where they are and what they do, we have a link on our website. In Cherry Hill tonight, Eddie Kadem, WMAR 2 News.